Welcome in everybody to another episode of Walk in the Park with one of our favorites, Wilmer Flores. And I think we need to start with the fact that you're gonna be a giant for several more years as we dodge balls here yeah. too. Congratulations. <laughs> what can you share about what signing that contract means to you and your family? Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, first of all, because it was here, um, a place where um, since uh, 2020, yeah. you know, I, I feel, uh, I just feel good here. Uh, I just, I didn't want to go everywhere else. And yeah. um, I, was, I had the chance to stay and we got it done. So I talk to so many guys and ask them often who their favorite giant is, who's the most popular and your name comes up all the time. You're having obviously a career season. The contract reflects that. What is it that works for you here in San Francisco? It just feels good, you know, the fans have your back. It doesn't matter what situation is. I mean, last year we won a lot of games and he was excited. Um, it's not the case this year and, you know, you still have the support from the fans and um, that's, uh, that's something that I really appreciate. I know, that's a big thing, like, because yeah. it's easy to be a fan when you win 107 games. It's hard to be a fan when it's a tough season and they keep turning out. They're a good yeah. group. Okay, so I got a chance to interview you for the season ticket member event, but so many people watching this didn't get to come to that. And I found this fascinating about your family. You grew up in Venezuela, and most of the men in your family have the same name. Yes. So who is named Wilmer? Can you tell me in the order? Um, my um, youngest brother, okay. he's, uh, he's 21. He plays for the Tiger, he's in Dublin. Uh, he's the youngest one. Okay. He's 21. Then it's me. Um, I'm 31. <laughs> Wilmer Alejandro. Okay. <laughs> um, then Wilmer Rafael. He's 34. Okay. Um, he's half brother. And and my dad. Uh, dad it's cool. Wilmer Rafael too. So there's four of us. So how does your dad? refer to you guys because he can't go does he go like wilmer one two and three or <laughs> uh no we had nicknames obviously okay. you know my nickname yep um my uh, youngest brother nickname is uh chiquito Aww. it's something he called him since he was that makes sense yeah he's the baby. baby yeah um the other one his name is patacon it's it's uh it's a Venezuelan food, you'll find it. It's his name is Patacon. I don't really know what we call him. But that. yours, will you share what yours is? Catire? Uh, Catire. So were you blonde as a baby? I was, yeah. That's, does that, I was. that's hard to believe that he was blonde as yeah. a baby. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it, Catire translates to blondie yes. in English, yeah. which is like Weta. Yeah, in Venezuela. In, in Venezuela. Because yeah. my husband's family calls me Weta. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but maybe I'll ask him to start calling me Katire. <laughs> so can you just give us some insight into what it was like for you leaving Venezuela and coming to America and, and what that time was like for you and learning the language and you were so young. Yeah, uh, it was tough. First year, um, I was 16 when I came. Uh, didn't know any English. I remember, <clears throat> I told the team I wanted to go home halfway through the season, like in August. Uh, I was definitely homesick. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. What was the decision to, to stay in the States and keep playing ball when you were so homesick? Uh, well, this is what I wanted to do. And um, it didn't matter what, you know, how, how I was feeling. I just thought if I want to play baseball, I had, I had to stay. So I just got through it. You are this year's Giants nominee for the Heart and Hustle Award. I got to ask you about this the other day, too. I just think that's such a special award because it's, it's based on your peers. Your peers are voting for you, and it's about your passion on and off the field. What can you say about when you got that news that you were the uh, nominee? Yeah, I was honored. I was honored. Um, I mean, I don't, know, I don't know what I did to deserve it, but all I did was just go out there and play. Um, Thank God this year I've been uh, healthy. Yeah. And, uh, and that's the, the yeah. truth, yeah. health in this game. Yep, it's been key this year uh, to be able uh, uh, to go out there every day and, uh, and, and, and perform. Obviously, you don't feel good every day, but if you're close to it, I mean, you can play. Got a rally. Yeah. All right, we have a, another section of the show called Rapid Fire in Fuego. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. So they're just quick questions with quick answers. Okay. Will you finish this sentence for me? 
If I wasn't a professional b baseball player, I would be? Lawyer. Oh. I, don't know if, I don't know if I'd be a good one, but. Do you know what kind of lawyer you would be? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Busting bad guys, I like it. All right, we know about your infatuation with friends and that's how you learned English, but which friend's character do you think would represent you the most, is most like you? Joey. Jo Mad LeBlanc. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Joey, okay, I like it. All right, a secret talent, Wilmer. So something you are good at that most people don't know about. Uh, I think everyone knows. <laughs> but it's not a secret. <laughs> what is it? Do I know? I don't know, baseball, I guess. Oh. <laughs> okay, besides baseball, like, do you play an instrument? Can you sing? Can you dance? Um, can you juggle? Can you do a handstand? I can sing. You can Karaoke, sing. I guess. You're pretty good at, oh, you heard it here. He can sing. <laughs> do you like dogs or cats? What would you choose? Dog. Dogs. Do you have Definitely one? Definitely dogs. No. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Coffee. Do you take anything in it? Uh, milk. Milk. Favorite sport other than baseball? Uh, ooh. Not really into sport. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but in Venezuela, what would it be? Like soccer? Football? No, Venezuela. Uh, I mean, baseball is number one. Baseball is number one. But what other sport is popular there? Uh, soccer. soccer. Yeah, soccer and, uh, and uh, basketball. Did you play soccer at all? No. Nah. You came to the Giants in 2020. I think this is going to be a really interesting answer. Who was a Giant you didn't like when you were with the Mets or the Diamondbacks and then you came here and you liked them? Oh, a Giants that I didn't like. Didn't like, but then when you were teammates, you're like, oh, I do like you. Anyone? I'm really digging for some dirt here. <laughs> That's a, that's an interesting one. I think I'm I'm gonna need more time. Need more time on that one. Okay, then I'll give you this one while you're thinking about that. You're and you have to answer this. You can't dodge it. All, All right. the guys try and dodge this question. Who is your favorite current teammate, and why? Oh, uh, Tyra Strada. No question. Uh, why? Um, it reminds me of me when I was uh, when I was a rookie, um, and you know, we talk every day baseball or or non-baseball and, and i just like i just love the way he approaches yeah. and i know he's, he's, he's gonna play for a long time and he has the talent the attitude to stay up here yeah gabe kapler likes his approach a lot too yeah. <laughs> could you call him like katireita or something Katirita. Ito? Katirita. <laughs> Katirita. <laughs> little, little blondie <laughs> a little blondie. wilmer <laughs> okay uh these are fan questions for you and then we're all done unless you want to try and think of that giant that you didn't like but then we'll get to that at the end. All right, so this is from Marilyn. I want to hear about his wardrobe, your clothes. Didn't Kapler say he likes to shop for high-end clothes? Is that true? Me? Yeah. I do. Oh, you're a fashionista. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? I like to I like to You like clothes? Stuff. Yeah. 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 Do you I, have a favorite store? I love shopping. Um, <laughs> you love shopping. I love, we should go. Yeah, That's yeah, something I could uh, actually do with you. Yeah, I'll be. I'm. I'm in the mall, yeah, in, the mall. Uh, in every city. Yeah, and checking it out. just just checking. And if I like something, I just. Do you have a favorite type? Like, are you a shoes guy, a jacket guy, a jeans guy? Uh, definitely shoes. shoes. Yeah, shoes and and jacket. Just just nice clothes. Yeah, I I love it. Yeah. Okay. From Robbie Dizzle, what's your favorite prep game meal, pregame meal probably, and what type of music do you listen to? Uh, Pre-game meal every day, it's uh, pineapple and strawberries. Oh, that's yeah. how you stay so slim. I mean, I need to try that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely a lot of pineapple. Um, a lot of pineapple. Yeah, I don't usually eat uh, too heavy before the game. I usually eat around this time, like two, uh, two or three, mm -hmm. and then uh, something light before the game. And do you have music that you like to listen to? A genre uh, of music, type of music? I like slow music. Slow. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Just keeps him, keeps him calm. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Ethan Silverman, having played in both San Francisco and New York, which town, not the team, which town do you prefer? 
which town. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're both different. Yeah, they are. They're, they're both different. Uh, in New York, obviously, I'm, uh, you know, I'm Venezuela. If I, to, if I want to get like Latin food at three in the morning, you can yeah, get it. <laughs> like after games, um, there's a lot of restaurants that are open late. And you know, yeah. that, that's an advantage. City that days. never sleeps. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, and then from Austin, Gruel, something you miss about Venezuela, I guess besides your family, which is the obvious one. What do you miss? Yeah, that's the obvious one. Yeah. Um, well, uh, the water, the beach, I like the beach. I love the beach. Every time I go, um, I'm, I'm always in the ocean. And Beaches are different here. Yeah. They're cold. They're a little bit cold. Yeah, they're very cold. <laughs> yeah. I know. Someday I'm going to go to Venezuela and I'm going to try that. Last question yeah. for you from Baseball Kid 28 What made you want to sign with the Giants? Um, I just feel good here. Uh, I think you can, um, either if you, ha if you had the chance to go to another team for, let's say, let's say more years, um, and you don't feel good, you, know, you don't know what, matter, to, expect. Right? Yeah, you don't know what to expect. You don't know what to expect. But um, I mean, staying here, um, yeah, I really feel comfortable with everybody, with the coaches and, and teammates. So it's not going to be anything new. So um, I'm just glad I stayed. Uh, I'm going to let you off the hook because I don't, knowing you, there's probably not a giant that you didn't like. I think you kind of like everybody. You seem to just get along with everybody. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking of all the guys and I can, the, I mean, Buster, Bell, Panic was his second. Panic, yeah. Hard, Crawford, to not, hard to not like them. Uh, Pablo at third and then what was the other guy, Duffy? Yeah, Matt Duffy. I mean, I feel it was Honey Pence, I mean, you don't want to say that, right? Pence. Everybody loves Hunter Pence. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, okay, that was a that was a fail question yeah. on my end. Wilmer Flores, you get to see him for several more years as a San Francisco Giant. Thanks for joining me for a Thank walk you. in the park. Okay. Yeah.